Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this card over here using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add animation to these uh, elements in the cards. And if I refresh this page, here we can see we have these animations for all these elements. Now we're going to add these animations using a library called GSAP, which is a powerful and popular library used by a lot of designers. And it's used in a lot of modern websites for animations. But in this video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called card animation and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have this folder called images in which we have this image which we're going to use in our design. Right, let's start by creating the necessary files. So we need to create an HTML file. So let's create a new file and uh, we need to create this outside this images folder. So let's create a new file and let's name it index.html. And we'll also create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And we also need to have a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So let's type link and press tab. And in the HR file, just type style.css. And in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So let's type script, call an src and press tab. And here, I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a division as the container. So let's create a division with the class of main container. And in that, we'll create a division called wrapper and in the wrapper we will have the image and this description so for the image let's create a division with the class of image and in here I'll just add the IMG tag and in the source I'll just type images forward slash one dot jpg which we have over here in our folder images and now outside this image folder let's create a division with the class of description and in this we will have an h2 for the heading and let's type heading here and let's also create a paragraph and let's just copy this text and I'll just paste it over here inside the paragraph and we'll also create a button so for the button we'll just create an anchor tag so let's create an anchor tag and for the SRF I'll just type hash for now you can add the link of your pages over here and we'll also add a class over here so that we can style it in CSS so let's give it a class of btn and here I'll just type get more info or let's type get info. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. Now I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now here we can see we have the design displayed in the browser. Right now let's start styling this. So we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, let's start designing this. So first of all, let's type main container and let's set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. Right now, let's select this wrapper division which is inside the main container and uh, let's type main container wrapper and let's set the width of the wrapper to 300 pixels and we'll also set the same width for this image so here I'll just type main container wrapper IMG and uh, let's set the width to 300 pixels or well, let's set it to 100% right now I'll just bring all of this to the center of uh, the screen so for that let's select the body and let's set the height to 100 viewport height and we'll set the display to grid and place items to the center Right now, let's get back to designing the wrapper. So here for the wrapper division, let's set a border radius and we'll set it to 10 pixels. And we'll also add a box shadow. So let's type box shadow. And for the box shadow, we will add the values 0, 4 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. But now we can see we have this box shadow for our element and now here we can see we don't have the border radius for the images 
So for that we have to type overflow and set it to hidden. And now we have the border radius. Now let's add some padding to this description division. So here we can see we have this division with the class of description. So here let's type main container wrapper description. And uh, let's set the padding to 0 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. Right now let's style this heading. So let's type main container description h2 and uh, let's set the font size to 30 pixels and we'll set the margin to 0. I think we can have a little bit of margin top. So let's type margin top and let's set it to 16 pixels and I think that looks alright. Right now let's style this paragraph. So let's type main container description p and let's set the font size of the paragraph to 15 pixels and let's set the line height to 2. Right now let's style the button. So for the button we have an anchor tag with the class of btn. So here let's type main container description btn. And for the button we will have a padding of 8 pixels and 32 pixels. We'll set the background color to teal. And let's set the color of the text to white. And we'll set the font size to let's try 16 pixels. And we'll also remove the underline so let's type text decoration and set it to none. And let's set the font weight to 800. And we'll set the width of the button to 100%. And here we can see that the width of 100% is not added to the button. That's because anchor tags are inline elements by default. So we have to set it to display of inline block. Now we can see we have 100% width, but it goes outside this uh, container division. So for that we have to set the box sizing and we have to set it to border box. And let's also add a border radius so that we have rounded corners and let's set it to 10 pixels. And let's also bring this text to the center. So let's type text align and set it to center. And we will add a margin bottom for this button. So let's type margin bottom and let's set it to 16 pixels. And that's basically it with the design of the card. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will add the animation so that it looks like this when we refresh the page. All right. so if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.